What's going up everybody? It's Teeny the Great and today is another update video. So, oh man, I am so tired. I just got off work, which is why this video is going up pretty late. It's a little bit later than I would like it to be up, but now that I'm working, it's just going to depend on, you know, when I'm available to film this, but um, they don't take that long to put together. So, um, it'll still be up every Monday, just the time changes. I don't, I don't know when I'm going to be available. But yeah, the novel's going great. I've started the new chapters, and those are going so well. Like, like when I'm planning and when I'm doing outlining, it's so easy to get fed up with writing because I'm not doing anything fun, I guess. But um, writing these new chapters, after I got the outline done, it's been so easy. Like, it hasn't been super hard to do. I'm not just sitting there not knowing what to write. And I've had a lot of fun with it. I'm still in the first new chapter. But, um, yeah, it's going well. I'm writing a lot and I'm enjoying it too. I've hit a point now where I'm just not sure what to do because in the, like, as far as the story goes, in the chat, in chapters, you're sp supposed to write, um, it's supposed to not be a whole nother story in itself, but it's supposed to have, like, some very exciting part and then some kind of conclusion and then that's where you end a chapter because think about it, when's the last time you read a novel and just nothing has happened and then it just gets cut off and that's where the just because someone decided to put a chapter in there and if you have read a novel like that it probably wasn't a very good novel <laughs> you definitely want closure at the end of a chapter because you don't want it to just <laughs> have no meaning a chapter have no meaning and then it just gets cut off randomly so uh i'm struggling with in this chapter that i'm working on i'm definitely struggling with what kind of action I want to put in there, what exciting event, and what closure I want to put in there. And, um, but I do have everything written out as far as what I want this chapter to show. And I think that's a very good thing to do, um, for writers. If, if you're a writer and you're writing any kind of story, or no matter if it's a novel or not, have, have an idea, have an outline, especially bigger projects, have an outline and have an idea of what you want to show in each chapter or each each section or if it's something smaller just the story itself what kind of meaning or what do you want to show at that time that you're writing I think for me that really helps me stay on track because it's easy to start writing and then an idea comes to you and then you start writing that and it doesn't really fit and it seems kind of random and like it might not have a lot of meaning and so I think outlining it and writing what like writing down I want it to show this or have this effect on the reader that really keeps me on track and then so when I'm editing I can go back and read this chapter and then look at my outline did it do this did it show what I wanted it to show if not then I need to change it and take it out and that helps a lot especially on like I said bigger projects and novels when you're dealing with subplots and secondary characters and things like that there's a lot going on so this helps you stay like on track is this character really necessary? Is this event really necessary? Does this chapter show what I wanted it to show? Or is it just kind of floating? Is there any point to this chapter? Is basically what I'm trying to get at. So uh, the one I'm working on right now, I'm trying to get to that point. But um, I'm really, really loving writing. Nothing really makes you appreciate your passion more than doing something you're not very passionate about. So working, I've had fun. Like it's not a bad job by any means. I'm enjoying it. But, you know, it's not my passion, so I think being there, I have a deeper appreciation for writing that I kind of, I definitely had that at the beginning of the summer, just coming out of school, I was super passionate about writing. I was writing a lot more, um, and a lot longer, but I just kind of got, I don't know, I guess got lazy, to be honest, and, um, but being at work is definitely, like, even though I'm enjoying what I've done at work so far, it's just... It's not writing, you know what I mean? So it's like, I come home and I'm like, now I get to write. Everything's good, I get to work on what I wanna be doing. And if, no matter what it is, whatever you're working on in life, if you love what you're doing, it's gonna turn out a million times better than if you're like forced to do it. So yeah, I think that's having a really positive effect on my writing. But yeah, I'm, I have, what did I add? I think I added six chapters or I'm going to add six chapters, I think it's six, and I'm working on the first one of those. So, man, after I get after I get these chapters in, it's just gonna be like, I'm gonna have so, like, basically a novel done, just ready for editing, and 
that's gonna be crazy to me because right now I do have the story start to finish but there's big gaps and big pieces that I really missed and fixing that it's almost like writing half the novel again so um but I'm enjoying it but man once I get these chapters done it's just gonna be man I'm gonna have so much to show for all the work I've put into this and that's really cool and uh, but yeah I guess that's it pretty much <laughs> just writing and you know having a deeper appreciation for it so this week i'll probably finish up this chapter and start on the next one so yeah I, I like having something like at the end of the week saying i wrote this chapter as opposed to saying i just outlined some more guys <laughs> but i'm really enjoying writing so i'm really happy to be writing and happy to be working as well it's going a lot better than i thought it would go and i'm really enjoying it so just to keep your head up because I know a couple days ago I got some news that I didn't want to hear about this job and I was I had so much anxiety and I was really upset too just about this this news that I heard and I didn't think I was gonna enjoy this job at all but it's really been a blast like it's been fun and you know you can't always trust yourself when you're thinking about something you, you have this idea that it's gonna go terribly or it's not what you want to do or something like that like don't get me wrong you need to trust your gut and go with what you what you really believe will make you happy but sometimes you just need to wait things out and see hey you know what it's not as bad as it seemed and a couple of weeks ago i was freaking out for nothing so whenever you're in that tough place just keep your head up and just remember like in a couple in in a couple days you know something complete can be completely different like for me this job three or four days ago i was so frustrated and I thought it was gonna turn out completely different than it has and look at this like four days later and it's completely different and everything's really good and everything I was worrying about before just didn't happen so you know you can't always really trust what you think is gonna happen so just wait some things out and see if it gets better and try to look at the bright side of thing and make the bright side of things and make the best with what you have and definitely keep that head up and stay positive you know just be happy in the moment and instead of focusing on what you want or what the negative side of what you want I guess instead of just saying man I wish I had this go out and get it or man I don't like this job we'll try to we'll either get a different job or try to like cheer yourself up with that job or something you guys know what I mean like just keep your head up you know just try to be more positive because it's just gonna make life so much better I swear but yeah just a just a quick update I guess I'll stop rambling now <laughs> But yeah, keep that head up, um, stay motivated, stay inspired, and stay happy. See you guys.